Oh! How's it going? It's me. It's Frog Detective. Hi. Let's go. Where are we? We're in the Mole's house. Mole house? Mole house. You, sir. Give me your gloves. Have a chat. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Oh, it's it's been two days, so I don't remember any voices I used. I'm sorry. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? Like in Frog Detective 1? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ha! <laughs> You're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, how did you meet Lobster Cop? In school. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Is it going to be yes or no? Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you. Yes. Yep. Ooh, switching it up. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? What? Not important. Sorry. I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> There I go again, being noisy. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> okay, see ya. My thoughts exactly. Wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Hello, a few words. Previous job helped out taking these. Ooh, these could come in handy. <laughs> Get it? Handy? Gloves. Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff. Two seconds. Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh. I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool. Got gloves. Can I interact with you? No. No, 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 no. What's behind the curtain? I still want to know. All right. Um, actually, where am I going? Uh, shovel! Nope. Don't know what the shovel's for. Key, I do know what the key's for. It's key. Oh, and carrots, I guess. If I brave... Whoa! If I brave what's-her-face the yelling again. Can I get on the roof? I got a good feeling about this. This is happening. Uh, how how quickly can I stop? Seems like immediately. I don't know. Um. Oh, I haven't talked to the lobster cop yet. Key fits in here just fine, but I'll wait till Lobster Cop gives me the okay to open it. Well, all right then, because we're talking to Lobster Cop. In just a moment. Hey. 
The lobster cough. So, are you finished? Oh, you had a voice. I don't remember what it was. Two seconds. I gotta find the voice. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked you? I don't think I have it quite right, but, you know, whatever. Uh, what were they again? Forgotten already, huh? Not a problem. I know you're new to the biz. I need the following to solve this mystery. A map of the crime scene. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. A key that will lead us to a clue. And most importantly, our oh, crap, a meal for the number one. A meal, the four number one best detective. Did you get all that? I think so. Get back to work, rookie. We gotta go talk to what's her face. Oops. Well, I guess we're on this. Can I ask you some questions about carrots? Hey, I managed to procure some, procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best, detective. How did you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. Bum, bum. Oh, my gloves. That's right. All right. Well, I didn't have to scream at all there. That's wonderful news. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Go no, come on. We gotta get up. Yeah. trying to jump. Wait, I can't get up. Help, I can't get up. That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. Got a cactus flower. Cactus flower. Next up, I have to go and get the one over here. Oh, that's not even the one I was thinking of. But I'll take it. Got a cactus flower. That should be enough flowers. But can I go get more? flowers for you. I've just been flower picking. Bum, bum, bum. Great! Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. <laughs> Did you? That's so funny! not funny at all. It's hilarious! It is not hilarious. That would have hurt! <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like, second-hand gloves? First and second-hand, yep. <laughs> well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. 
What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did! I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Got some stew! Oyster. Lobster Cop's gonna be so proud of me. I gotta get there fast. Ooh. So speedy. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find out the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. It looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it. We'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Oh, a shovel. I think you could be right, Detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Thank you very much the number one best detective. This stew is clearly for me. Huh. Would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, Lobster Cop. Go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. Yup, yup, yup. Ka-ching! Well, here goes nothing. Sorry, this is Lobster Cop speaking. Well, here goes nothing. Tumbleweed wasted no time. Alright. Uh huh. Okay, not suspicious. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Let's dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. It's nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Lost hats! Why does everybody in this town suck except me? Oh, wow. Oh, Lobster Cobb's here to steal all the credit. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. Where is music? The first order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. Hello. I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. Saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He 
He finished quickly, smart and sure, and headed off towards the store. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. Cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. <laughs> wow, that was really loud applause. Like we have all erupted in. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <gasps> I am pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of Sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator. Frog Detective! I agree. Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole. It ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! Oh, that is damning. No, this is a mistake. I was dig digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Why do you look so mischievous? I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me! I don't even have eyebrows! You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. Motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What, judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Add room. It's less of an idea more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. For punishment of crime. No! An excellent, if shocking, idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. You will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It is in my office. <gasps> the curtain. Oh, well, in that case, Detective, 
I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. Oh no. Achievement unlocked bad room. Oh my God. Does this have multiple endings? Did I just get a bad ending? Just want to go home to slippery. What? Where the air is fresh and life goes on. I've been in here for far too long. So here I go, just singing my song. <laughs> um I'm in the bad room. readers it's hour number one of my time in the bad room know that i am innocent unfortunately because the number one best detective put me here nobody will believe me that's what you get for being second best i'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. 
I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading, Frog Detective. Kiss. Mystery Monkey! Whoa! This is terrible! I can't believe this! What's going on? I'm reading the latest Frog Blog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it! The detective has been framed for a crime! It's real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself. <laughs> what a beautiful transformation. Ooh. Detective's innocence. Mystery Monkey is so cool. A little later. Can I help? I don't remember his voice either. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Be right back. Ooh. Of course, how could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise, I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? Investigator Eel. No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth P.I.? No, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up. And I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know. But it's so out of character. Even if, even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh, no. What's the bad room? something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole. That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before. Just sort of loitering around the offices. 
loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. I remember that, too. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the blog, Frog Blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, Mystery Monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. Plot thickens. Um, I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. Well, I guess this is what I'm looking at. Blue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Got clue detecting powder. Oh, okay. I want these footprints complete. I'm gonna go crazy. But there's a secret clue. are done. Um, right click to look at something. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that. It couldn't be. There we go. There we go. Oh, well, I guess I'm done. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? That looks like a frog detective hand. Photocopy of frog detective's notebook. Copy of the detective's notebook. Lobster cop and Mason Mole. reads. Hello, Lobster Cop. It is me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct, and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. 
If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn, but it may not be enough. If the detective gets better and better, your position at number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Unbelievable! This can't be true. Lobster Cop? The number one best detective? Fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. I can go. Well, hello there. Out, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're here about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of Frog. How can one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of all our hats? Frog's so pretty, so alluring, and yet, I really trusted Frog Detective, that snake. I can't go on a date with a criminal, it's just not me. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. You live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog Detective is innocent. Sure, we all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's frog blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake. A setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How could we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mole has the detective locked up in bad room at the back of the sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We are outlaws. My bad. Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room. Or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. Mystery Monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, Detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. 
can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask. It looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious of who? You, detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Here we go. The time has come. What is the meaning of this? What is the, what? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case, but it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is, uh, this is ridiculous. I give up, man. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. Can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. <laughs> As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Bull wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? Feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. Wait, really? I didn't know that. What? I never. Oh, maybe you didn't. Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. <sighs> no, I... No, that's not... I... My God. This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I've felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving, I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been the number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. This is a banger. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? A lobster cop. 
Your investigative invest investigative investigative oh god. Your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to. I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important. But we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. And I had the perfect plan. Very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I ran a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources, dig up the hats, and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. So unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lock cop. Mason Mole. You have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, you have abused your power in ways that I can't begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you, ena you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. No longer. I will hand in my badge and gun. gun. Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. Not like I ever used it. Mate. I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Whoa. Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well then, it's settled. Lobster Posty, La Posty Mason Mole, you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me. But I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie, and please rest assured, you will never have a late parcel again. 
Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Say, hey, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to Mystery Monkey! <laughs> Yes. Yes. Wow. Congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective. Again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do. <laughs> uh. Oh, and Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole? Yeah. You're invited too. Dance party. It's a dance party. Two weeks later. Is there a new case? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey. Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. It's your number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Hi. Hey, detective. Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? I don't know, I was just joking. You got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1? Frog Detective 2? And now Frog Detective 3? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Oh, that's a good point. Anyway, 
Thanks for meeting me here. <laughs> uh, the case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. Beautiful. Surprise! It's everybody. It's all my friends. It's Fresh X. It's the... I, okay, I don't remember most of your names. Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically, you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked! That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Whizbay. What can it be? Special birthday delivery. Is that for me? Open it up. A hat that fits me! Happy birthday! Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? <laughs> well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. It's beautiful. Detective smiley face. We have loved making these games for you, and we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Is this a third credit scene? Are there three credits in this video? Our latest toast science discovery jam. Love the Mo and Mystery Monkey. Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. See you soon, love from Bonnie, Craig, and Susie. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Teeth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth trademark. XO Fresh X. Family reunion! So much wool was shed. Gross. From Noodle and Barney. Oh my god! Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. XO Sherman. So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. Regards, pistol. I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading, Bernie. Got, you got quiet. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up from Rhonda Dynamite. Zebra? Lion? Who are you? Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Best. Ralph. You guys related? We are not the same guy. Larry and Lobster Posty. <laughs> My first day of cowboy school. X Dusty. Employee of the month at the post office. Thanks, Mason Mole. Where we, where, where we? Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, koala. Oh, hello. There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea. Orbit. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third, Finley and Martin. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later. Mary XO. For you. 
I broke my leg. Sent from my phone. Naughty. I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. From Victor. Why do we let my hero lobster cop? I read Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. Frog. Detective. The end. Masterpiece. 10 out of 10. That's it. That's the end. What do we do now? with the look sensitivity maybe I guess I just revert back to the shadows oh that was fun alrighty uh, maybe I'll record something again I don't know love you bye